While food banks across California have seen a dramatic rise in need, there is a local free food program for kids this summer. The San Diego Unified School District is offering free lunches as it has for the last seven years. KPBS reporter Kyla Calvert is here with more details. Kyla, tell us about the program. How often and where? Sure. Um, the school district is serving lunch Monday through Friday now through uh, August 27th. And um, it's, the lunch is available to any child 2 to 18 years old, and it's being served in about 50, 50 plus locations around the city. And some of those are at schools that are hosting uh, summer classes, and some of them are in parks or other community locations like YMCAs. Um, and the, the schedules um, sort of vary depending on the location, but all of the location and time information is available on the school district and parks department websites. So. Okay, so this is for children, but as I understand, uh, parents can eat there as well. Nor on most days, it's only for the kids, but at the locations in the parks, which are being called the Summer Fun Cafes, of which there are about 25 or so, um, each of those locations twice over the summer is hosting two special events. And on the special event days, um, which are a barbecue and a Mexican fiesta, uh, parents can eat with their kids for about $2, for $2 per adult. What has the participation rate been like so far this summer, and is it up for last, from last summer? Sure. Um, last summer, the school district served about 250,000 lunches. Um, and when I spoke with Joanne Tucker, who runs the program for the school district, she said that since they started serving lunch on June 24th, she has seen a small uptick over last year, but she also said that the, sum, the program doesn't really take off until later in July when the year-round schools begin to get out. Um, but last year they did see something like an 83 percent increase over 2008. So, you know, the number of kids that they're serving has increased dramatically over the last couple of years. Okay, what is the sense of, of how many of the kids who receive free or reduced priced meals during the school year um, are being reached with this program? Well, because the, the, pro the program is open to any child, you know, they're not really tracking specifically who is getting lunch every day at the parks. But a study of um, who was served last year across California by programs like this um, concluded that about 21% of kids who qualify for free or reduced price lunch during the school year are getting lunches um, through programs like these over the summer. So, and, and um, that percentage has been decreasing uh, steadily, you know, over the last couple of years, even as the number of kids who qualify for free and reduced price lunch increases. Okay. Is there much outreach happening, though, to get to the other kids who, who maybe don't know about it? Well, actually, you know, San Diego, I think, is, uh, has been a little bit more successful with efforts like that than other places in the state because um, outside of San Diego, a lot of areas rely solely on summer schools to uh, open their cafeterias to kids to provide these free lunches. But in San Diego, because they've partnered with the Parks Department, they have these um, locations in the communities. And the Parks Department um, has signs up in those parks saying when, when lunch is served and the program guides for those parks, you know, have the lunch information. And so I think that this program is a little bit more visible in the communities because of that. So. How, how essential is a program like this? If these kids did not have this option to eat lunch, what, what would happen to them? What would they be eating? Well, pretty much everyone who I spoke with who is responsible for running the program said that, you know, there are kids who, who were it not for these lunches, they wouldn't necessarily have a meal that they could count on through the course of the day. And, you know, um, in order to qualify for free or reduced priced lunch, uh, the, the sort of highest cutoff is still uh, less than twice the federal poverty level. So if you were a single, a single parent uh, supporting two children, your income could not be higher than, um, it's about $33,800 a year for your kids to qualify for just a reduced price lunch. And I think in the city of San Diego, you're going to be, you're going to be cutting a lot of corners before your, your income gets down to you know, $33,000. Um, and so, you know, these are families who are definitely at risk for experiencing food instability, which means that they don't know where their next meal necessarily is coming from all the time. Okay, and very quickly right now, what are they serving at these lunches? Um, you know, at the school locations, they're serving uh, a hot entree and a, a, a side dish from a salad bar. And then in the parks, they're getting sack lunches, um, which is a sandwich and a piece of fruit and a small snack and a carton of milk. Um, and then on the special event days, you know, they have 
uh, hot hamburgers and hot dogs during the uh, barbecues and, you know, hot on Mexican entree during the Mexican fiesta. Okay, Kylie Calvert, thank you so much. Thank you.